Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is five tabs you may not know about in Football Manager 2021. So, a little bit of a a little bit of a clickbaity thing for you here today, just because it's fun to do. Um, this one comes at the suggestion of the brilliant F. M. Lama. By the way, you should check out everything he does. It's always brilliant and educational and clever. So, do that. In the meantime, here is the first of the five tabs. The first one is found off the home screen. And you're looking for relationships. It's the fifth one along. And you may be thinking, well, what do I care about relationships? Well, there's a lot of little useful things in here. One, I'm going to sort by relationship and see who's distant. All right, what I've got for distant are a few agents. So... It might be good to know which agents feel that they have no relationship with me. Uh, oh, this is a player. Excuse me. Player, player, agent, agent. Oh, I see. Okay. This guy's an agent. Levy Collins. And he has... Nobody that I have. Okay. I don't know who... I, I don't know why he doesn't like me. Okay. That's fine. Um, Esteban Martinez. He also has nobody that I have on my team. Okay, so apparently they're distant for no obvious reason. Okay, that's fine. Um, but you can check that out and find the more interesting things are, you know, agents who become close to you. For instance, this one right here. Alexander... Brenner um, seems pretty ordinary and until you realize that he is the agent for my captain Joseph Greenspan and the goal machine Rubio Rubin so vastly important agent good somebody to get to know good to know about him that he is prefers to client prefers his clients to remain at their current clubs while also being regarded as a patient negotiator see that's useful information if I want to negotiate a new contract with um, Rubin or Greenspan it helps to come here first look up what the agent is like and then know that going in you more information when you go into negotiation is always a good thing because it's an information um, mismatch, right? You have information that they don't. So you can always take advantage of information mismatches. Um, you can find this, use this to find players who are not um, responding to your efforts to become close to them, such as Yusuf Abab, who's been here for four years this is his fourth year with the club I bought him I brought him in signed him and um, he's come through the leagues with us I've played him all the time he's and he's still an acquaintance for some reason and as you can see I like to make sure that I have good relationships with my players all right I tend to have very good relationships with players that's that's it's a side effect of the way that I play that I tend to have very good relationships with my players also in here you can check how your relationship is with your staff um, with other managers now it won't be all the managers it'll just be the ones that you've developed any kind of relationship with and so for instance the one here that I've got with Chicago because we played him several times uh, in the cup and, and such we've gotten close um, because we've both said really complimentary things about each other in the press um, agents are here as well and journalists which can be really useful to know these are the guys that I can trust um, if you know if, if I go to leak to press for instance and it goes through one of these guys they're gonna write a very favorable story that'll help all right little things like that these are little things around the edges that can make the difference between being a good manager and being a great manager. That's my experience. And I have a lot of experience. So 
The second tab that I think you may not have used very much or may not know about is the notebook tab also off the home screen and the way that I use this one is you could there's a, a tick box in the preferences that allows you to turn on or off this feature but if you have a note about someone you can set it so that there's a little marker you can see this little yellow tab at the end of their name so what I use it for is that these players are all players who dislike big matches all right so I just go through my team once a season and I check who is um, afraid of big matches oh that was Beck that was one right there Shire Mohammed dreads playing in big matches so he's got a little yellow tab beside his name what that leads to is that when I come to pick my team you can see how easily we can spot the players who are not up for a big match so and I know it looks like I've picked against these but really it's that I tend to pick players who don't have this and these players are largely players who have come who were with the team when I got here um, not all of them some of them I bought but some of them are, are most of them are, are players who were here when I got here so um, but it's a good useful little tip that's what I use it for you could use it to mark them for almost anything um, you could mark them because you want them to to get a rest you, you know, there's all kinds of different ways you could use that um, but it's it's a useful little thing so I just thought I'd point that out so those both are off the home tab next I'd like to look at a little something on the tactics one and you may think well I've seen everything on the tap tactics set maybe this one is tricky what um, I like to use this for is um, personalized instructions that's this little tiny blue tab right here right you can see it's gone from position to personalize what that means is for this guy only when he comes into this position he'll be a person he'll be a, per a poacher but say I brought in Ken Bennett instead all right well he happens to be a poacher because that's what I had in the position but here's the cool part if I set it to personalized and then I change it from poacher to say advanced forward now watch what happens when I change say we've got Yusuf Dow in there all right he's a poacher so I can leave him alone or I could set him to personalize if I then bring in Ken Bennett it switches automatically to a to advance forward if I need to bring in Richie Leeds it switches automatically to poacher and what's cool about this is you can do this for any position on the pitch for any player so you can for instance if I want to bring Ken Bennett on over here I'm gonna want him to be a, a pressing forward so I'm gonna personalize that and say that I want him to be a pressing forward on this side just in case for some reason it's not Rubin playing there and so if I put Rubin back I'll set him for personalized on that as well because it's how I like him to play and um, so if somebody else comes in there like say where'd Richie Leeds go oh he's up, he's up here um, we'll take him out for Bennett so Bennett's gonna come in he makes his, his, his way to the advanced forward role we put Leeds over here we haven't set anything for him yet so it's gonna be a pressing forward the default for this position now I can change that default for this position um, I, let's say I make it a deep line forward just for no reason um, and then anybody that I bring on in that position will be a deep line forward all right Ken Reeves would be a deep line forward anybody would be a deep line forward in that position as long as they don't have a personalized instruction set so it can be a real time saver when you want to bring players on in the game it you don't have to look up what 
role that particular player likes or or what role you like to play them in you can preset it before the game it will then apply for all the games and when you bring them on they're already in the preset role that you prefer to have them in and that can be a real time saver like I said but it also means you're less likely to forget to change roles and things like that so it, it's very handy um, that's my uh, the other thing of course is that these personalized instructions if you click on this include the personalized instructions that you can also issue here so I can add instructions like dribble more or take more risks or whatever on that tab so again it's just the personalized instruction tab is is useful in a couple of really different ways and really useful ways so that's another one that I really like to point out this one here uh, is the one I want to look at is next opponent analyst report so this is the version the long version of the one you get as an email all right you get an email saying here's the analyst report for your next opposition or maybe you don't get the email sometimes that happens depends on what your your um, staff settings are and and everything else but once you get here you've got an enormous amount of information available to you um, it tells you which match that it's based on all right um, you can look at all kinds of different setups um, for different different plays different shots different passes all of those kinds of things uh, it'll tell you about how the things that went well and the things that went poorly so there's a few things here that went poorly that can be taken into account that's really useful um, you've also got individual match analysis over here which will tell you more about how each position um, will do things like the pit, positional heat map, the passing network, which doesn't seem to be working very well here. Uh, okay. And key passes. So apparently a lot of the key passes were right in front of the net, um, which is interesting. And there were a lot of them, my goodness. So, um, that's that. There's other matches here. If I want to choose a different match, I can choose a different match. Um, but this one continues to refer to the, to the next match, which is, is telling you what the last time you played them. Um, it tells you the stats, formation analysis. There's just there's a ton of information on here. It can be really useful to you for. Um, for any uh, research you want to do on the opposition before your game. So um, the other one that was left, ah yes, this one you may know about, but there's a little there's a little tweak to it that that you may not know about. This is the knowledge screen, and what this tells you is the areas about which your scouting team has personal knowledge, and they get that knowledge not only from their own knowledge like Ki Sung Young is one of my scouts uh, as is Eduardo Bravo um, I think Dominic Alexander is my where is he? is he a scout? no he's a sports scientist so there you go um, and he knows something about Cameroon for some reason I know something about England and Canada um, Ki Sung Young knows Brazil for some reason and so on down here um, but what's interesting is that these are all the ones that we do know about okay so it's not as useful as I thought it was going to be but it is one that you may not know about and um, it is good to know where the gaps in your world knowledge are uh, you can always go back to the world map by just clicking on the world map. Um, you can do it by continent or by region within the continent. So we've got East Asia um, specifically. 
which is showing you here. These are the countries of East Asia, Mongolia, China, the Koreas, uh, Taiwan, and um, Japan, of course. I don't know what that is. Is that Taiwan? And what's that? I don't know. I'll admit I'm terrible at that kind of geography in that kind of region because I just haven't done a lot of travel or, or anything there. So, not that I'm into rambling or anything, but anyway, this is actually kind of a useful screen. Uh, it does tell you a lot about what you know and what you don't know, and that can be really useful when it comes time to finding new scouts. When your team of scouts is expanded, you can come here and find out what areas of the world you've already got covered, and then try and find scouts that will cover more areas. Because the more areas you've got knowledge of, the better your scouting will be in those areas, and the better players you will find in those areas. So those are my five. Uh, I'm going to get ready to go and edit these now, and I'm going to say the things that I say at the end of the video, which is, I hope you appreciate the video. I appreciate you and your time very much. Thank you very much for spending it with me. I hope you have a great day, and take care.